Do you ever sit and wonder, why change? Is it even worth all the effort? What does the future workforce even look like for students of today? Well, let's explore. Evidence suggests that employers increasingly seek enterprise skills such as creativity, presentation and teamwork and that future job skills will entail significantly more time spent on critical thinking and judgment, science and mathematics skills and communication and interpersonal skills. Rapid advancements in technology have resulted in the automation of some jobs previously requiring human skills. This prompts further discussion about which jobs are most at risk of automation in the future and the possible impact that will have on society. The analysis of the trends that may inform future jobs and employment also highlight the need for skill sets that are resilient and adaptable when responding to change. This includes a broad mix of skills that encompasses both socio-emotional, cognitive and digital skills, as well as skills in specialist areas like STEM. Jobs of the future will require significantly more on-the-job learning than ever before. Many agree that literacy and numeracy are a crucial foundation on which further emerging knowledge and skills are developed over the course of the individual's life. The changing workforce also presents a number of ethical and legal challenges that relate to increasingly data-driven inferencing and decision-making. Enterprise skills of problem-solving will go up to 12 hours each week, up 90%, and critical thinking for 15 hours each week, up 40%. Workers will also use the enterprise skills of verbal communication for seven hours per week and interpersonal skills like listening, empathy and persuasion for seven hours per week, both up 17% on the workforce of today. Workers will use the foundational skills of maths and science for nine hours a week, up 80% from today, and advanced technology skills for seven hours a week, also up 75% from today. And on average, they will work without a manager for three hours more a week and receive one hour less instruction and rely on two hours less on organisational co coordination with colleagues and superiors. This is a significant shift in how work will be managed. Around the world, the most progressive education systems are focusing on developing the workforce of the future. They offer immersive, project-based and real-world learning experiences that go beyond the classroom environment. These learning experiences are best suited to developing the future-proof enterprising and career management skills that will be most in demand and most highly portable in the future of work, and to instill in young people the enthusiasm for ongoing learning that will be critical for their future success. Across all jobs, it's estimated that the average employee will spend an extra two hours per week maintaining relationships with clients and co-workers and having close interactions with other people and an extra 1.5 extra hours on complex reasoning, decision making and creative tasks. As career paths are becoming less predictable, future workers will need to be more flexible Instead of training for a particular occupation and working in that area for life, studies have estimated that Australians will make 17 changes in employers across five different careers. Our young people will need to be prepared for a journey of lifelong learning and be confident to work autonomously. They will need to be critical thinkers and problem solvers but even more importantly, they will need strong communication skills in order to interact with others well. So, why change? Because our young people are going to be facing a more dynamic future of work where linear careers will be far less common and our young people will need a portfolio of skills and capabilities, including career management skills to navigate the more complex world of work.